Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the mat. My name is Sis. Uh, today we are going to be doing yet another lovely hip opener called Lizard. Uh, this one is intense. It can get much more intense depending on your comfort zone. Um, I would highly suggest either a chair or yoga blocks. Definitely if you have a furry supervisor, have them near for comfort. Um, but yeah, you definitely might need some props here. Um, if you don't have yoga blocks or a chair, um, like two like cans of something to hold you up, or um, maybe even just a pillow for com for um, just to give you some extra cushioning there. Uh, once again, this week we are going for an evening-esque look. Uh, I feel it's a little bit more relaxing, but you let me know which one uh, works best for you. And Lizard requires a uh, left and right side, so we're going to be starting on the left side because I'm a lefty. So on your mat, towel, or full comfy floor, go into tabletop, arms right underneath the shoulders, knees are right underneath the hips, and head to plank. Take your left foot and bring it on the outside of your left hand. If you have short limbs like myself, you will definitely need to give it some help. So your foot is on the outside of your hand. Make sure that the weight is evenly distributed in both hands before you lower that right leg. Now, if you have props and want to use them, yoga blocks, feel free to hang out in either three, two, or one height. If you have a chair, feel free to use the legs of the chair if you want to climb down there. You can also hang out on your forearms if that's more comfortable. This is very intense, so please feel free to slowly ease into it. It's, it's a doozy, but I believe in you and we can do this. So we're going to hang out here for a few minutes. Close your eyes if you would like. And just remember to breathe in and out deeply. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three. If you notice any tightening in your body, just focus your breath to that spot. If it does get too much, feel free to back out of the pose. This is very intense. Go with what feels good for you.
Now if, and only if, you want a little bit more juice, flex your left leg and ride it out on the side. So your pinky toe and that side of your foot are just hanging out on the mat. But that's if and only if you want a little bit more juice in this pose. Again, inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three. Nice deep inhale, sigh it out, <sighs> wherever your hands are, bring them back underneath your shoulders. If you were out in what we like to call flying dragon, bring your foot back in on the floor, using the weight and the strength in your hands, push off. And I like to straighten my leg. Yeah. If you want to do any hip rolls or sit back in child's pose, you're welcome to do that too. I'm going to go on the other side, but you stay there and do what you need to do. into table and just hang out for a bit and notice if you feel any difference one side or the other. If you do, that's great. If not, that's great too. Okay. So from table, head into plank. Bring your right leg this time to the outside of your mat. Again, if you have short limbs like myself, you're gonna need to give it a little bit of assistance, but that's okay. Again, feel free to use your yoga blocks in whatever height you need. If you have a chair, feel free to use the arms of the legs, I should say the legs of the chair. Lengthen that left leg out nice and long before you place it down on the mat. Set up your props, work out what looks, feels good and works for you. And deep breaths. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, Again, if you feel yourself being short of breath, back out of the pose for a little bit. 
It's your body's way of saying, I'm not comfortable. If you want a little bit more juice in this pose, flex your right foot and place the pinky side of that foot on the floor. So it's flying dragon. Invoke your, uh, your inner Khaleesi. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, one, Two, three. Deep inhale, side out. <sighs> Get your hands underneath your shoulders, move any props away as you see fit. Bring that right foot flat on the mat. Curl your left toes, straighten that left leg. And come back to plank. And then stretch out that right side however you see fit. You wanna straighten. I think this is called a bicycle. I don't know what it's called. It's some sort of runner's thing and I don't run. So if any runners know this type of stretch, feel free to shoot me a message in the comments. You can also do hip rolls, go into child's pose. Anything that feels good for your body in this moment on this day. And let's come back into table. And just notice, does anything feel different than when we first started? <laughs> well, that, dear friends, is Lizard. Also, um, the Flying Dragon is an intense, advanced version of Lizard. That's Naboo, my fabulous ginger prince of a son. Uh, thank you so much for spending some time on the mat with me. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next time on the mat. Namaste.